paying college athletes is a controversial issue that keeps picking up some steam. And this week, a Senate committee, including Senator Mitt Romney, discussed this evolving topic. Fox 13's John Franke has a look at how being paid to play could impact college sports right here in Utah. Among those who gave testimony at the Senate hearing was Utah State Athletic Director John Hartwell. He argued paying college athletes could harm smaller schools like Utah State, and he asked the federal government to take some action. Revenues from football and men's basketball help fund scholarships in many sports, including for female student athletes, which are required by Title IX compliance. During a virtual hearing of the Senate Committee on Health, Education, Labor and Pensions, Utah State AD John Hartwell said the ability to fund sports that don't bring in much revenue could be in jeopardy if the highest profile student athletes are paid. The financial challenges will likely be the most severe at limited resource institutions. This stems from recent laws passed in California, Colorado, and Florida, giving college athletes the right to earn money for their name, image, and likeness. Using former Aggie quarterback and first-round NFL draft pick Jordan Love as an example, Hartwell outlined how that could impact a school like Utah State. Corporate sponsorships may be reduced that benefit, right now benefit every student athlete on campus and instead be rechanneled to a select few student athletes. Senator Romney used his time to express concern that athletes aren't receiving market value. He offered an idea to cap name, image, and likeness compensation at $50,000. Would we satisfy uh, the concerns that you have if we uh, if we indicated that, uh, look, we're going to increase the ability to compensate all the members of a team? That idea was not received favorably by the school representatives on the panel. They emphasize the value of the education student athletes receive. Hartwell proposed more sports use the model employed by Major League Baseball, in which high school athletes have the option to skip college and immediately pursue a pro career. We need to work with the NFL, the NBA, the WNBA, and other professional leagues to further study possible minor league development systems as an option for those athletes not inclined for higher education. Another big takeaway from this is schools want federal blanket legislation when it comes to name, image, and likeness compensation. They argue with different states having different laws that makes recruiting unfair. Meanwhile, a representative for college athletes says the NCAA should have no part in those negotiations because, as he put it, they have failed when it comes to athletes' rights. In Salt Lake City, John Franke, Fox 13 News, Utah.